I'm just doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 2 of Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. In the last episode, we figured out the plot, beat the home world, and Cloud Spires, and in this episode, we'll probably be beating two more levels, starting off with this level. Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. Yeah, sure. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> this pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape. If you were to pay me, say, a small fee? Uh, of course, money bags. 300 gems. There goes half my money. Ah, Spyro. I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday. But for the time being, it's making me rich. Oh, I want revenge on you, buddy. Now we get a cutscene. <laughs> I uh, hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, name's Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. She just straight up sent money bags out of the level. Anyways, let's go to Sheila's Alp. There's one of these animal buddy levels per world, and you'll need to beat them to unlock them in other levels so you can get 100%. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. All right. Oh, yeah, and they each have their own soundtrack. Hi, Sheila. While you were gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Sure, a plan. So, she controls pretty much the same as Spyro, but instead of a flame or a charge, you get a kick. She can do the double jump, and she can do the ground pound. And if you hit the ground as soon as you, uh, or jump as soon as you land, you can get a, like, a really high crazy jump. And Animal Buddies only have three eggs, similar to Speedways. Just for those who want to know. Boing. Boing. Boom. Ooh, a purple gem. And they follow the same gem concept as the, the rest of the levels. So if there's 400 gems in every level here in this world, then this level will also have 400 gems. See? Oh yeah, I forgot to go over skill or check skill points. First part of the game that we've done, no skill points though, so that's a good thing. And for this one, you need to do the high jump. Boom, done. And yeah, every time one of them gets to the house is where you'll get an egg. There's no real challenges to getting the eggs, other than just beating the level. It's more so finding the gems that are going to be the uh, difficult part. What are you pointing at? There's no gem there. I don't know what you're going on about. Ah, <sighs> home at last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. Um, why are you eating an omelet? Why do you have Ruby from Ruby Gloom in an egg? Ooh, hi. Uh, 
Oh, another one that says hi. Yeah, another thing, like I mentioned before, the eggs in this game just don't have personality like they used to in Spyro, the original Spyro 3. Because, funny thing is, like the original Spyro 3, this part of Spyro was rushed again. Like, I don't know why Spyro 3 never gets worked on as much as, you know, it deserves. It's like, why? Why is Spyro 3? No, spend the moose. Why do you have a fedora on your antler? Why are there blue-footed boobies around here? Weird choice of animals and stuff. And Weird-looking Rhinox with pickaxes, too. Enemy design in this game is kinda weird. That's for sure. Ooh, lots of money again, thank you. Even more money, thank you. Uh, I just gotta make sure you're not missing anything, because there's always a lot of jumping sections of Sheila. But I think we got everything in this cave, other than what's around this little area. Yeah, so, I guess now we just grab our second- oh, never mind. Now we can grab our second egg. Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Well, thank you from Jenny, from Jenny Craig, but... Where's your plan to take back your places? Looks like I'm doing it, guys, not you. Wow, that is a really bad chicken dance without the music for the chicken dance. Darn royalty-free music. Just doesn't sound great. Now, don't even bother killing these Rhinox. You need to destroy their mushroom huts. Well, kill them if they do something like that to you. Just don't go out of your way to keep killing them, because... They'll just keep respawning as long as their houses exist. Ugh. Oh, come off it, game. Really? Game was just trolling me there for a second. There we go, collect that, thank you. Those guys can be pretty difficult to hit when they come charging at you like that, though. Num num num. Also, this one is really difficult to get to in this game, because sometimes like you'll hit like the weird hit boxes on the tree and the rock. And it'll just make grabbing it extremely annoying. I need to get up here. Oh, another life. Thank you. As if I need more lives already. Ooh, lots of cash money. I did see some gems over here, though, from when we were breaking the huts, so we don't want to leave these behind. And apparently we still have gems that Sparks can't pick up for whatever silly reason. Because he's a turd. Oh, yeah, like this one, right next to a cliff. Yeah, that's, that's smart. Don't have him pick it up. Zoe here just tells you about using the Atlas for progression, which we all know about. It's, that's not like a new gimmick. Technically, you could do that in any Spire game, where if you press select, you can open up the menu to look at your progress for the level. Odd room with just a bunch of small gems. Like, these are probably two green ones then, huh? And yeah, there we go, there's all the uh, gems. Now we just need the egg, and then we're golden. Thanks for the help, Sheila! Ooh, you can have this egg I found in my house! Nan. I don't have any fun name for a person named Nan. Kind of an old-timey name, don't you think? And with that, we can now just straight up leave the level. There, and now we'll have another 400 gems. So at least now we have 100 extra gems than we originally had last episode. Still, nothing to write home about. <laughs> Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. <gasps> Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. Ha <laughs> 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 Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? 
Alrighty, so uh, let's go take on the first technical level, which also has two skill points, Flame All Trees and Skateboard Course Record 1. So let's go to Sunny Villa and smack her head. Because, youch. This level's a pretty, well, pretty level. Ooga -ooga -ooga. So yeah, you have to flame all these trees to get one of the skill points. Also, these enemies don't physically do anything. They just roar at the, the lion dudes here, and that's it. They don't actually fight back. Touching them won't hurt you. Them running into you won't hurt you. Nothing about them will hurt you. They're literally the most harmless enemy ever. Actually, I'm pretty sure the enemies in Spiral 1's very first homeworld were like that too, but... Spyro 2 never had any harmless enemies, that's for sure. The game was a lot more aggressive, but then again, it was like groups of dudes turned against each other, so... I guess, technically, this one is just a specific group of enemies? Oh my god, is this man running for me? Wait, what? Did he just... He just jumped over my head, that was funny. Oh no, this enemy is too big to charge? Why would I ever charge an enemy ten times my size anyway? Thanks for letting me ignore your advice, Zoe. Because who needs that advice? We already know what we need to do. Oh. Stop eating the chicken. Nobody wants to see- Oh, and that'll be the one that tells us about saving our progress, right? Despite running into Zoe multiple times throughout the game. Like I said, though, this is level 1. Eh, I might as grab this egg. It's Vanessa. Right on. Thank you. First of the six eggs. And like I said, you did need Sheila to beat this level, though. I don't recommend doing any of the bonus things, though, till you flame all the trees. Because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to reset the trees. Like, after you, um... Go in and out of a door. So you want to do that all... Before going to one of the minigames. So we're not even going to bother going up here. Actually, no, we need to for a tree, never mind. I was going to say, we don't need to go up here yet. But I'm pretty sure we do. Because I'm pretty sure there's a tree over here, plus an egg, so... As a kid, I just thought of going over here because I'm like, Hey, I wonder if I can make that, and guess what? We could make it. And luckily I did, because then I found out that there was an egg over here. And we'll see who it is. It's Miles Morale. Ooh, you're pretty cool. You caught your shell, buddy. Nice. Pretty talented. Also, why was I, like, hugging the wall weird like that? That was odd. Frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. That's another thing. I feel like the fodder lost a lot of charm. Like, I missed the snowballs. In the original, uh, or in Spiral 2 there. How, like, in the original... In Crystal Glacier, when you flame them, they'd melt instead of them just exploding like every other fodder does in this game. I think that chicken blew up. I guess that's what it seems like what happened. Thank you for the tree to flame there. Oh, I, I appreciate it with all my heart, buddy. Is that a gem? No, it's a frog. Get out of here, frog. Stop looking like a green gem. So many frogs just laying around, too. Alright, it doesn't look like we're missing. Hey, what happened to the chicken, dude? Hey, that opened up the gate. Rock on, man. Oh, we got Lion Buddy here. I feel like he's kind of lying to us, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> I'm funny. And there we go, there's our skill point. Just remember, skill points also give you lives. So let's go and grab the egg from down here, from this guy. Thank you for rescuing our town. As mayor, I awarded you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. Your accent sounds super forced, Leo. Sanders, Colonel Sanders. Really a chicken level giving you a guy named Sanders who does the chicken dance? Or a poor imitation of it, that's for sure. I'm sorry. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. It's a dragon? 
Oh well. Anyways, we get to go do the first mini game level over here. So let's go to it. I believe there's usually two per level, right? I, at least I think that's how it is. So let's just go around and collect a lot of these gems first. Because it's kind of hard to do it while you're skateboarding because you're focusing on doing other things. Oh, I'm pretty sure those red lizards that I mentioned in Sprout 2, their names are rock lizards, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what their names are. Every enemy does technically have a name. Even if it is like flying saucer sheep or something silly like that, you know? They usually have names. At least the music here is just super upbeat. One thing I really do like about Spyro 3 is the change of music. It makes the game feel really different, despite just being like mini DLC for Spyro like 2. Except it fused like Spyro 1 and Spyro 2 but together, which is way better. The Spyro 2, while I liked it, I felt like it was a little empty. Like everything was always the same, exactly the same amount of gems, between 2 to 4 orbs per level. And it's just... Oh god, why do I have the cheat code on for the, the, the weird skateboard? Oh no. I got the squid board and it's super blurry when it moves, which is odd. And god, Sparks is picking up the gems this time. Doop, doop. I wonder if it breaks or if it like it turns into ink. Oh, that's cool. It turns into ink. Oh, right, there's a gem down here. Gem... Okay, it looks like we completed all the gems here, so... Wait a second, did I get the ones up top? I did, I did just do this, right? Yeah, I did just do this. I don't know what I'm going on about. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I'm a moron. My board broke. Do 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 Hey Hunter, I'm coming at you with my board. Sir! Sir, I can't get off the board! Sir! Help me! Sir! Oh my god, what is going on here? There we go, sheesh! Talk about not breaking. Hey Spyro! I found this gladiator training arena that also makes for a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? Sure. I bet you can't catch all 15 lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. It's really weird because he actually teaches you how to skateboard the second skateboarding uh, level that you do, not the first one, which is really weird. Kind of a weird choice. I guess technically they didn't expect you to do this one first. I don't know. Or maybe this one was intended to be number two, and the first one, or the second was meant to be number one. That could honestly be it too. It might not have been like how it was originally set up to be. Maybe Sunny Villa was supposed to be later on, I don't know. Or maybe this part of Sunny Villa was meant to be later on, and they just never like, had limitations to it or something. They were just able to do it from the very beginning, I don't know. Could be anything. Do. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, man. We're getting all these kills, dude. Let's ski. Hey, dude, come here. Oh, no, dude. I'm dead, dude. No, dude. We have to go up there still. I don't remember if I've went up there or not. I don't know why I can never remember these things that happened like 30 seconds ago, but. Yep, that's just me. No, we didn't go up here. This one can be kind of weird, because a lot of the time they end up synced together really weird. Hey, that was great! And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. Sweet. We found Emily. Emily Dickinson in a, in a wheel... Or a lizard burrow. With wheelbarrow. All right. Now you gotta do it again, but this time with a time limit. And if you wipe out, you fail. Yeah, nothing particularly crazy, just 
and a more advanced version of the one that we uh, just did. A lot of these skateboarding minigames are kind of like that. Or like there's races, or there's something usually with time in the second part. So yeah, that's nothing new there, that's for sure. There we go, we'll murder that guy. Kill this little dude, kill the ones up here. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, there we go. Perfect. I think then we just got this one left, right? Yep. And then I believe the rest are just down here and up top. There we go. Perfect. It's actually going flawlessly. Especially since I, I'm not a really... Like, I like the idea of the skateboarding, and I think it's kind of fun. Just doing the same thing over and over is just not the funnest. Like, oh, here, do the exact same challenge you had just did. But this time, you have to be... a little more careful. Whoa, that was sweet! And look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. Nice. Now we have Daisy, Daisy Duck. Oh, that's gonna chase its tail. That's kinda cute, I guess. Alright. Now, what you have to do for this is you actually have to beat the point challenge here. And we did a gulp. Nice. That's pretty epic, if I say so myself. Alright, double backflip too. Rock on, buddy. Oh, we did another gulp, which means we did it the wrong way. There we go. We did a crush. And we did another crush. I'm pretty sure we only need to get to like 4,000 or something. The sad part is you do have to do it for the full time limit though. Like if you beat the uh, record, it doesn't technically end. Wait, that was only a triple and not a... Uh... Ow. Also, yeah, wiping out just causes whatever points you're doing to end. That's it. Nothing else. Yahoo! I don't know why I keep doing the crush now. There we go. We definitely need um, different kinds of points. This one's actually pretty hard to get a lot of points on, though, because there's not a lot that you can do here. There we go. We got a triple backflip. Triple sow cow. Let's do the spiral. Let's gain some momentum, my bra. Do oh my face, my dragon nuts, dragon these nuts everywhere. I guess. Man, why do I keep failing? I'm just kind of killing time now because I'm pretty sure we did it. Whoa. So why does it sound like Mystic March in the background? I wonder if you hit these. Oh, they don't spin in this game. In the original, they used to spin if you bump into them. Did we do it? Oh, we did it, yeah. There we go. Skill point acquired. So now we officially have every skill point in this level, so now we can go do the Sheila part and call it an episode. Oh man, we have to backtrack so far. Even though it's not really that big of a level, it's just all this platforming you gotta do. Alright, and then we go over here and we go and grab the singular gold gem and dive into here. Hey Spyro, there are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of this tower. Ah, so you think. Can I avoid you? Oh, thank God. He's just annoying and whiny. He's like, the love of my life got the restraining order against me. Please, make her love me. It's like, no, dude, she got a restraining order. Leave her alone. Ah, oh, yes, no. And see what I mean about the music being tied to the character? Yeah, we got the Sheila music again. Which is honestly my least favorite out of all of them, though my least favorite character that you play as is actually the second character you unlock. And sadly, he comes back the most out of any character in Spyro games. 
for whatever reason. Also, these guys were a lot more annoying to deal with in the original game. And don't think I forgot about this over here. Yeah, see, this guy also used to sit right at the edge here and knock you off immediately. Like, if you didn't time your jump precisely, you'd take damage and fall all the way back down. Oh, man, we have less than 50 gems to go here after we collect this. There we go. We only have 40 gems left. All 39. I will admit though, music, musics. I was gonna say music. Sheila is pretty good, but Sheila's music is pretty good. It's not my favorite, like I said before, but it's also not terrible. So man, they have some pretty like hardcore death sound effects when you kick them in the teeth. Boingy boingy. Punk. I still need to record a few more videos. I like to record at least six videos. That way. I have at least three full days, or if I have to, I split them up into one episode for every few days. Just lately my legs get really sore recording, which makes it extremely uncomfortable. Because I can't have my legs stretched out when recording, and that sucks. And I sit on the cold floor. During the summer it's fine, because the floor is not as cold. And uh, it being cooler than the rest of your room is always nice, but... It's 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 winter time right now still. It's almost spring. It's like March sixth, I think. Right now. Oh look, there's a cat up here. Nice. And I missed gem somewhere. Well, let's grab this egg. What? Marco sent you here. I've got a restraining order against him. Hey, Lucy Lou. Also, no reasoning to giving us the egg, just she's got a restraining order. <laughs> She's also the only female. Oh, well, let's go down here. Where are you pointing me? Oh, you're pointing me back up here. Did I really miss Gems of Spyro? Oh, well, let's see. Really, that gem? And then where's the last one, Sparks? Over here? Oh, don't tell me it's in here. Okay, no. Oh, I know what it. Hi, yeah, when a fairy saps you. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's right there. There we go. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below. And in the next episode, we will be doing um, probably Seashell Shores, Mushroom Speedway, and then Molten Crater. Probably all in the same episode. So if you guys enjoyed, remember, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.